All right. So, first thing, uh, I'd like you to just introduce yourself and talk a little bit about your personal background. Okay, my name is Delmar. I'm called a peacekeeper. That's why I have on this little vest here. But uh, I, uh, my first involvement with any of the occupations started in Seattle. Uh, and it was one of those situations to where I really was just praying over the people. I didn't want any kind of violence or anything to, to really hurt anyone. Uh, I didn't want any business damaged or anything like that. So I just lent my help where, wherever I could to make sure that uh, what I was involved with and the people that I was around, that it stayed peaceful as possible. Uh, so that's how I got eventually started with Occupation Seattle. And I was there for a little while. Um, uh, that ended up in a trip to Occupation Olympia, uh, which I was there for about maybe two and a half weeks. And I do believe that some very wonderful things happened at the occupations. Uh, some growth and some things that needed to change got changed. But I ended up here where I think I was supposed to be. And this is Occupation Park. This is Occupy Tacoma. And uh, I have actually lived in the city of Tacoma before. Uh, I'm not new to the city. I'm not new to the community. Uh, there's a lot of the religious community that know me uh, here and as, as, uh, also uh, the other part of society. Uh, they know of me too. I had an apartment up here uh, just uh, across from Bates College for about a year or so here in Tacoma. Um, and I do believe if there was anywhere that I would buy a house, it would definitely be in Tacoma throughout any of the cities that I've been in the Pacific Northwest. So uh, I hope I answered that question uh, <laughs> pretty thoroughly. But I do also know that uh, this voice and this we are the 99%, that it is a very good thing that I see happening. I do believe that it is history in the making. You know, We as not only Americans, but just people in general, we're able to have a say, we're being heard and the type of issues that we think or believe or in our opinion that are important, you know, uh, we can bring them to the table and at least have a voice. You know, that does a lot just right there. That's a lot of change because when people can release frustrations, when they can release anger, you know, uh, that gives us an opportunity to just sit back and really think about it and say, well, you know, maybe I need to change this or do this or uh, maybe my opinion wasn't quite right. So you have an opportunity to search it out and let that steam off. You know, that's why they call me the peacekeeper here because uh, I do believe that peaceful demonstration, peaceful protest is how the victory is claimed in anything that you're doing. And I will say that I've seen a lot of improvement in the occupations that I've seen, uh, not only uh, within the Pacific Northwest, but I've, I go on the internet and I check out some of the other occupations around the country. And I do believe that uh, none of us probably thought that we would still be here right now. But we are, <laughs> we are still here. And it's a wonderful thing to still be here. It's a wonderful thing to continue to be growing. And it's a wonderful thing to know that that change is being made. <laughs> now, let's back up a little bit. And how long have you been occupying both in the movement overall and specifically here at Occupy Tacoma? Yes, I'll start with Tacoma. I've been here in Tacoma maybe about eight days now. Um, and if you kind of added up there three weeks about three weeks in um, Occupy uh, Olympia and right at about a month almost a month and a half at Occupy Seattle that brings us right to the beginning dates of where we actually started so uh, I do believe this experience uh, was very good for me and learning because before I had never been involved with any type of protest or demonstration in my life. But I felt such a, a, a compelling, just a strong, you know, spirit in me to get involved with this. You know, this is something that is good, it's something that will cause change, and it's something that I believe our nation was waiting for. Uh, I, I do remember one lady said, uh, uh, I believe I was at Occupation uh, uh, to 
coma, yes, the lady came up and she said it was, it's really good to see you Americans finally waking up. <laughs> and I said, wow, you know, that's a really good thing because I don't know if we understand, we as America, we're being watched, you know, by the rest of the world or how we react to things, what's going on with us. Because we do live in one of the most powerful nations in the world. So the people of this nation are important as far as the world view of the nation's people. Uh, and we do, we have seen in international news that there have been uprisings within other nations even before anything like this has started. But I like to think of the occupations here as not as an uprising. Uh, uh, that's why we use the words protest and demonstration because it's within our laws that we have a right to do this. So it's not something that we're doing that's illegal. It's not something that we're trying to be troublemakers. It's not something that we're trying to destroy something. That's not my intentions. I love this nation. I've been inside of this nation all of my life. And I do believe that this nation will continue. And uh, my, you know, my prayers and my blessings are not only with you, but also with this nation as a whole. So I wanna do everything that I can to make sure that this nation is strong, this nation is wise, and that we also can project a good view to the rest of the world on what's going on because we're here and we're still here. Now, how would you describe the Occupy movement to someone who just didn't understand it at all, hadn't heard of it? How would you describe that to them? Well, I would. the first thing I would tell someone that's never heard of the Occupy movement is don't be afraid of that word, Occupy. Because usually when we hear the word Occupy, we think of military interactions, you know, when they take over cities and things like that. That's not what's happening here. This is not a military operation. But we have a, a slogan that we say, we are the 99%. And the 99% simply means that we the people, we the people have a voice, we the people have a say. We the people have seen certain things that has to be changed. The 1% happens to be the, these corporate bodies, the legislative bodies, all of the people that seems to be set against the nation as a whole. Now, whether or not they're doing this deliberately or whether or not it's just happening uh, in their selfish greed, you know, there's many different ways that they can probably try to explain why they're destroying our nation. But of course, this, these issues go with the, the corporate bodies, the banks, even the people that hold the wealth, you know, because we have to share in this equally. You know, we, we're seeing trends in this nation set to where uh, the people are being treated uh, very, you know, I don't like to use the word bad, but what's happening is when you take health care away from working people, when you take people's pensions away from them, when you take things away from people that they expect to feed their families with and take care of themselves, you know, 15 years down the road, and now they're thinking, well, hey, you know, that may not be there. That's a very serious thing. You're destroying their hope. And I do believe that this nation of ours is a, is a very hopeful nation. You know, we'd like to, to be able to take care of our grandchildren, not only our children, but our grandchildren you know, uh, and make sure that they have a good education and health care and uh, social security if they need it <laughs> or whatever the, the case may be. Uh, so I would explain it that way. These are some serious issues that we're addressing. We are the 99%. You don't, you don't have to be afraid of that. We the people. And there are a lot of us that make up the people of the United States of America and the rest of the world. Now, what would you say to detractors, people who, whether because they just don't like it or because they don't understand it, uh, speak badly of the Occupy movement? Well, you know, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. And I have seen opinions that's been in every category. Uh, and they're all accepted. You know, I, I do believe that we can even learn from the people that think that this is bad. You know, I'd like to talk with them and say, well, why do you think this is bad? Do you believe in democracy? Do you believe in a republic? 
uh, do you believe that our Constitution and our nation should still be in effect today? Do you believe these things or have you, uh, uh, do you want to embrace uh, a different type of government, a different type of uh, uh, living? Uh, I myself, I have never lived in a nation that was uh, purely communistic or, or some other form of government where the people did not have a say at all. You know, I don't know what that feels like. I'm not sure if I want to know what that feels like. But I do keep my mind open. I know that times change, and I do know that the world situation, the world stage is changing also too. But I would say that I would welcome any opinion about the occupations because we need to learn from each other. You know, that fear that you have, that, 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 that fear needs to be, uh, you know, maybe lowered some. Maybe if you educate yourself on exactly what this is and what we stand for, uh, maybe that you wouldn't be fearful to think that maybe this is a bunch of guys that are just homeless or a bunch of guys that are just taking over parts and causing problems. You know, education is good. And that's what we're here to do. We're here to educate people that we are America. Nice. Thank you. Peacekeeper. I actually have uh, at least one more question for you. Yes. The come uh, as the occupation moves on, moves forward. As the whole Occupy movement goes forth, what do you see in the future of the Occupy movement? And if it were up to you, what would your vision of an ideal world be um, coming out of the occupation? Oh, that's a very good question. Well, first of all, uh, the occupation has already been moving. Uh, before I left Seattle, there was a situation when the occupation was being lost there in the original uh, occupation where it was being held. That it was voiced that the occupation is really in the heart and mind of the people. And I agreed with that 100%. So as long as we are presenting the message that goes into the hearts and minds of people, there is change being made right now. So it turns from this occupation to a full-fledged movement to change. I do believe that that was, the, that was the platform of our current president, change. We kept seeing those posters with his, his face on it with those different colors and then we, we, we would hit, see that word change under there. But we, I don't think we really asked ourselves, well, what kind of change does he really mean? So I do believe now that what's happening as far as the occupations, that it is already in a full-fledged movement right now. Not only within the United States, but also around the world. And if I had anything to do with it, which I think I might have a little bit to do with it, I do believe that this is democracy rising up again. It is the spirit of America arising up in its people, and not only the people that are here, but also the people all around the world. We are giving them a very good message that democracy is alive and well, and that also it is good. Now, there are parts of capitalism that, that, that some of us feel that maybe has failed or maybe doesn't work, but the one good thing about it is we can work it out. It is something that these problems that we have, they're being dealt with. We're talking to other people and, and we're, we're exchanging ideas and we're coming up with solutions, not only for the occupations, but for the communities that we're in, the cities. Uh, and I see change all over the place. So in my view, I do believe that we are successful already. The victory is in it's in full swing and it is in the hearts and minds of the people we the people we the people thank you you're most certainly welcome